Yo, 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 what up? Taking a little scroll. Um, I don't know if I should be <laughs> telling you guys this, but they always say uh, the game is to be sold, not told. So <laughs> I'm going up against the grain a little bit and I'm going up against the rules of not getting paid before I tell this. Um, for some of you YouTubers out there um, that want to get started, in particular, I'm just going to aim at the guys in sports. Um, if you want to get started in making YouTube videos and get monetized and uh, turning this into like a somewhat of a career, because once you get monetized, you are turning the um, you are turning your uh, YouTube channel into a career, basically, because it becomes work at that point. Um, I'm gonna start off with myself. Um, out of a lot of YouTubers, there's only few, few of us that actually have monetization um, or the offer for it. I'm one of them. Um, Ticket TV is one of them. Bruce Blitz is one of them. Um, people like that. Um, I I could get monetized right now if I wanted to. I I have the offer. I just chose not to for political reasons and um, security reasons. Um, as you notice. Up until now, a lot of my content now is original, but some of it, um, <laughs> you know, some of it from the past could be questionable. Um, even though it doesn't have a claim to it, it's still questionable. Um, so basically, if you have the option to monetize, your videos these are people that have ads in their videos if you have ads in your videos that means you're eligible to receive some form of income from your YouTube videos that you do sorry it's raining out here um, you have options to pick you could pick to have skippable options skippable ads things of that nature um, but you still get uh, paid off that. Um, now, here's the thing. Here's the thing about that. Um, once you get monetized, I got a little advice for you. You should make your videos 10 minutes or more longer. Reason why? is because YouTube is looking to um, replace TV. They want to be as big as TV or cable. So in order to do that, in order to do that, sorry, it's raining. <laughs> like I said, it's all, in order to do that, um, you had YouTube favors long videos. So the longer your video, the more better it gets featured on YouTube, the more YouTube will favor your video. Some people don't know this. Um, I do though. Um, I've been, like I said, I've been part of YouTube for quite some time. I'm a veteran when it comes to YouTube. So, um, I'm already uh, established on several uh, of my channels that I actually um, have and I believe I have one monetized um, not about basketball uh, it's actually started off with boxing but it's monetized I get actually paid for that so for me to almost hit the restart button in a way, I'm not hitting the restart button, but in a way, I am. So it's kind of both. 
but I have the stats and numbers to why I'm monetized. And here's the key to doing it. You need 1,000 subscribers or more. That's one rule. And the second rule is you need a certain amount of clicks or watches to get monetized. I have both of those. Um, so, with that being said, whew, damn, hold on for a minute. You gotta take a little break. It's raining outside. Um, so, with that being said, that gives me the, the option to make a profit off my videos, even though I haven't been doing it. You know, some people settle for cash apps because they don't have enough subscribers or views to, to get um, monetized. I don't have to go that route if I wanted to. Um, but I just basically wanted to drop some gems on you guys to help some incoming people that like playing sports, right? That uh, not playing sports, but um, like watching sport videos, playing it as well. So, but just want a little knowledge on what's what and what's the rules of certain things, um, how it goes. Um, another thing you want to do is subscribe to something called Google Absence. All right. Here's the mistake a lot of people make. They wait till they get monetized first, then they subscribe to Google Absence. Don't do that. Get Google Absence right now before you get monetized. Then when you get monetized, you will have the option to, uh, it will speed up your process to get monetized faster. Okay? Um, so that's my best advice to some of you. Um, you could, you could basically be eating off one YouTube video if it's a countless classic and people continue to watch it years on and, um, years later. Um, some, uh, few YouTubers have accomplished this, but the more views your video get, the more, um, uh, I guess monthly income you would be getting. Um, this is for those who's expiring to be YouTubers um, on a sports level. Now, when I started making sport videos, um, I started doing it by highlights. Um, this is the way me, Bruce Brillitz, and several other guys have did back in the day. We old school YouTubers. Back in the day, there was very few rules to copyright. So guys will, you could take content off YouTube, put it on your channel and no problem. Music, no problem. Now in 2020, it got in a little harder to uh, get monetized because a lot of people have content that's, uh, um, it could be just a music video, or a clip of um, music from another artist, you know, something like that. And they won't get um you know, uh, monetize. Now, I mentioned a lot of other famous guys that do sport videos. Um, you know, uh, Bruce Blitz is by far the most famous. Hands down, the most famous. You know, um, and he makes uh, a whopping revenue uh, on YouTube. I mean, the guy is uh, out of this world successful. And I learned from him, talked to him, had communication with him. Um, uh, was a good friend with Bruce Blitz for quite some time, but I left the YouTube scene. So, um, I personally don't need to, um, do things to try to get people pissed off and things like that. I see a lot of YouTubers that like doing things to, uh, ruffle feathers, <laughs> which I find funny, but I don't have to do that. You know, when I make a, a review, or say something, that's just me speaking from the heart. I mean, there's no malice to it. There's no hatred. I just believe what I believe in, you know? You you could 
you could accept it or you could not accept it. I mean, that's up to you. Um, you can, you know, I, I tolerate all types of <laughs> abuse or all types of um, criticism, but I don't care. I mean, you got to have tough skin. This is another thing for YouTubers. You got to have tough skin because you're always going to get people in their feelings and people are always just going to say certain things, you know? As long as somebody don't get disrespectful, I don't care. Um, you could say, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know I have this. I don't know that. But the stats speak for itself. Um, and my experience with several YouTubers speak for itself. Um, I don't have to prove anything to anyone. I, if I tell you, you could take it on face value or you could believe it um, or chose not to believe it. You know, that's on you. But I'm just telling you what's what because I want to see other people be successful on YouTube. Um, I want to see people uh, accomplish things. Um, so I'm giving my little two cents on what I think you should do. Um, so with that being said, um, if you want to make a YouTube sports video, I mean, a sports, be a sports personality on YouTube, you need three things. For starters, you're going to need time. All right. Uh, being, making YouTube videos is very time consuming. Um, it takes up a lot of your time. Um, if you have a family, it would take up your time. This is a job, man. This is not like some uh, play around shit. This is a, actually a job sometimes. You know, this takes personal time out of your schedule to do. You know, just to talk to people about, about sports because you're passionate about it. You know, I take time out of my schedule just like you take time out of your schedule to talk. We come together with one common goal is our love for sports. Rather we disagree or we agree with something, keep this in mind. We're all one family that loves talking about sports, okay? So don't get in your feelings. Don't get upset if somebody says something that you disagree with. It's just sports, man, <laughs> okay? We all have different opinions, you know? I, I may say Jordan's the GOAT and the next guy may say I'm full of shit, uh, it's Kobe, I mean, or it's LeBron. It's your opinion. I mean, I don't care. I mean, I'm not going to get, I don't get rattled up about it. I'm not going to kill you because you said Jordan wasn't the GOAT. That's your opinion, you know? Um, so, with that being said, I said, number one, tough skin. Number two, you also need to have, um, now I already said number two was uh, uh, time consuming. You got to put the time and effort in. So, um, tough skin, time and effort. And number three, um, Actually have some information on the things you talk about. Do research before you actually hit that record button, um, you know, and have some experience. And if you want, you could go the other route by um, spending some of your own money on um, camcorders or programs. You know, the more fancy your video looks, the more um, money you probably spent on that to uh, have your video look the way it looks. You know, effects cost money and it's uh, programs that does this. So you need programs to do stuff like that. Um, so um, that's a number, the third route. And number three, I mean, not number three, number four, a little extra tip. If you want, um, how should I say it? There's a way you could go about getting um, more, if you're a newcomer, more views or subs, if that's what you're looking for. Um, it's not necessarily what you're looking for. It's the rules. You need those things to get monetized. It's just part of that. Without those two things, you don't get monetized. So you could start off with trying, making a YouTube ghost account. Okay, not a ghost account to, to troll people, not like that. I'm talking about ghost account to try out videos that you could test on, all right? Test videos out and see what the limits of what you could go by on. B meaning, if you could get away with posting a certain amount of content without it getting flagged, then you could put that on your main channel, okay? Um, it's very easy to get monetized in sports, very easy, you know? Um, I'm not going to tell you the, all the buts, the ifs and buts about getting monetized. I'm not going to tell you the whole complete secret. But it's 
easy if you have the time and effort to do it. All right. That's the most important thing. All right. So peace.